Um, hello, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Monica Marquez. I am an optometrist and I've been working as a university professor for more than 15 years. I want to thank Sol for inviting me to give this lecture and to all of you for attending tonight. In this opportunity, I want to talk about the visual development of the child. It is important to say that concerning to visual development, there are three age groups defined by the American Optometric Association. These three groups have been defined by characteristics on visual development. The infant from newborn to two years, 11 months old, the eyes keep an, uh, an anatomically and functional development that is started at the embryo stage. They grow fast and most of the structures change a lot during this period of time. The preschool child from three years to five years, 11 months old, the eyes keep growing at a slower rate and most of the visual functions have reached normal uh, adult development. At a school child stage, from six years to 18 years old, the eyes are still growing at an even a slower rate, and most of the visual functions have already stabilized, and we do not expect marked changes. As we can see, the first two, mainly the first age of group is very critical because any disturbance in the visual development or anatomically, anatomical disruption could have severe consequences on vision. On the other hand, also they are the, base, the best ages to correct and treat any visual problem with a better chance of successful results. So, what we can observe, there are uh, visual development milestones that we can easily observe on a growing child, indicating he or she is probably developing normally visually. This is the um, checklist from, for infant and toddler visual development. Those are the expected visual performances from birth to six weeks, the baby stares at surroundings when awake, momentarily holds gaze on bright light or bright objects, blinks at a camera flash, the eyes and head move together, and one eye may seem turned in at a times. Um, I want to be clear that the eye that is uh, turning in shouldn't be uh, deviated or squinting permanently or constantly. It only can be occasionally. From eight weeks to 24 weeks, the eyes begin to move more widely with less head movement. The eyes begin to follow move, moving objects or people. The baby watches parents' face when being talked to, begins to wash on hands, the eyes move in active inspection of surroundings and while sitting looks at hands, food or bottle and now is looking for and watching more distant objects. The baby starts to become more aware of the distance objects. What I'm going to show you here is a, is a video It will take a few seconds. In this video, we can see how an only three month old baby girl can pay attention and follow a toy with both eyes. And of course, as anyone else, a while after 
if the toy or stimulus is not changed, the baby gets bored. Going back to our presentation. From 30 weeks to 48 weeks, uh, the baby may turn eyes in water while expecting hands or toys. The eyes more mobile, mobile and move with little head movement. Watches activities around him for longer periods of time. Looks for toy, he drops. Um, this is interesting because for the baby, the, the things that fall to the floor doesn't seem to disappear anymore. He knows they go, they go somewhere else, so now he looks for them. Visually inspects toys he can hold, creeps after favorite toy when seen, sweeps eyes around room to see what's happening, visually responds to smiles and voices of others, and more and more visual inspection of objects and persons. Now I'm going to show you another video. In this video, now we can see how an eight-month-old baby boy is more aware of how surroundings, more aware of, of his surroundings, and despite we try to keep his attention in the little toy in front of him, he turns to look at the other stimulus appearing in his peripheral visual field. This is one of the techniques we optometrists usually use to assess babies visual field and eyes movements. He's following with both eyes and as we can see, there is also head movement. And we, we usually see is um, that the movement of the head uh, shouldn't be too wide. Okay, now back to our presentation. From 12 months to 18 months old, now the baby is using both hands and visually is doing a hand activity. He is visually interested in simple pictures, often holds objects very close to eyes to inspect, points to objects or people using words like look or see, and looks for and identifies pictures in books. Before showing you this video, I want to talk a, lot, a little bit about this case. Um, on the video, there is a 14-month-old little girl who was diagnosed with congenital cataract in both eyes when she was five months old. As you can see in this picture, cataract is an opacity of the crystalline lens, the natural lens we have inside the eye, and this lens allows us to get images in focus. However, as in this case, this, this lens is not translucent because of the cataract, the eye doesn't get any stimulus at all, causing one of the worst 
visual loss known as deprivation amblyopia. Amblyopia is also known as lazy eye. It maybe sounds like a funny number, but it is not so funny. So, this little girl underwent cataract surgery when she was about six months old. Um, although she was still a baby, unfortunately, it was pretty late for her, for her visual development. Uh, congenital cataract should be treated in the first three months of life. Also, the correcting glasses or correcting contact lenses should be fitted as soon as possible. Uh, in this case, as her parents were not appropriately oriented after surgery, the girl didn't get her glasses until she was 11, small, 11, 11 months old. As a result, we can see that she doesn't realize the interaction with her environment and surroundings to her vision, but to other senses as hearing and touching and her general development was also delayed. Now going back to the presentation. This is a picture of the girl um, I was um, at that time showing to the girl uh, some toys and, and trying to get her attention and um, although she doesn't seem to look, be looking at me at all, uh, it is because she didn't develop, develop a correct eye fixation. Fixation is the capacity to direct the eyes toward objects of interest. The lack of fixation is related to very poor vision. Okay, now to continue with normal development from 24 months to 36 months, occasionally the baby visually inspects without needing to touch. Uh, smiles and shows facial brightening when views favorite objects and people, likes to watch movement of the wheels, a beater, watch his own hand while scribbling, visually explores and stares on walking and climbing, watches and imitates other children, can now begin to keep coloring on the paper and reads pictures in books. So, why children's eyes should be checked early in life and yearly in a regular basis? Well, because following development is not enough. It is a very good tool. However, uh, there are visual problems that can go silently, especially when they affect only one eye. And as I mentioned it before, as visual development goes very fast and stabilizes very soon, um, it could be late for many of the children if we don't take if we don't take care early. Why do we usually optometrists assess at the at the eye checkup? Well. I don't want to bother you with this chart. It seems a little complicated. I just want you to take a look to, a look to the left side of the um, chart, the left column inside the oval blue. Uh, these are the five items, items we optometrists check when we assess a child. I think after all we have reviewed before, the, the first item, history and general, general development. We can understand why uh, it is 
so important. Uh, the second one, motility and binocularity. Motility is related to the muscles and the movements. And binocularity is related to the integration of the information from coming from both eyes in only one um, image and it is made by the by the brain it's a sensory function that is very very important the third one refractive status is to measure the amount of the focus that has that the eye has in order to determine the necessity of an optical correction i have to say that in kids it is normal to have some little range of the focus that can be tolerated. So when we correct child, usually we don't correct fully. So we have to know how to do it. Uh, vision acuity is the measure of the vision. The resolution of the eye is the number when you, that you hear when you get an eye checkup and they say your vision is 20-20. Uh, that's the, some of the ways it is measured. And the last one, ocular health. We also says the health of the eye, not only of the external visible parts, but also we do inspect uh, the very back of the eye where the retina, and the optic nerve, the, the, the way that connects the eyes with the brain, uh, we can check the normal aspect and health of those structures. So this is what I want to show you and share with you. I um, once and again want to thank Saul for her invitation and I also want to invite everyone to keep visiting and sharing with your friends and relatives her page on Facebook, Saul's Journey, where she's posting healthy recipes and tips every day. Thank you so much and if there are questions you can uh, write on the, on the chat or send me a message to my emails. Thank you very much.